probably should have filmed this before I ate because now I'm tired. Okay, let's do our usual challenge of me trying not to edit, which already, already I should do. Okay, I'm just gonna dive into today's haul because I'm gonna nap it out soon. But, okay, the first thing I wanna share with you guys, I know I've been on like this water kick, I've been talking about water a lot lately with you guys, but um, I recently saw a video, I don't know if you guys know who Dr. Sebi was, but the man knows what he's talk what he was talking about. Like he, he just knows. And I saw this video where somebody showed the water brands, I guess you could say, that Dr. Sebi like basically approved of. And one of the waters I recognized immediately and I was like, I bought it one before from Dollar Tree and I see it there all the time. And it is this brand exactly, Crystal Geyser. And I'm not surprised because this is a natural spring water and spring water is essentially the key because it has minerals. You don't want your water <clears throat> stripped and be just not have those natural minerals that come with natural spring water. If your water has a, what do you call it? Um, like if your water has an ingredients list, no. Even if it says, <clears throat> excuse me, 0% or 0.1, no. All right, so we failed the editing because post nasal drip and nobody wants to hear that. Um, okay, I also picked up even more brand new like Valentine's Day decor signs. They're so cute. These are like a big mason jar, darling. I think these are gonna be cute in the center of a wreath. That's how I would style them. And then I saw these floating around on Instagram and my stores had them. There's like really cute little rainbows and they were part of the Valentine's Day. Love is the most beautiful thing in life. So here's what that looks like. Really sweet little set of colors. And then this one, more like on the pastel side. Super cute. I love how the hearts are down here at the bottom. Very pretty. And then I also found these, which I thought were so cute. Never, well, I don't really know, but I don't think I've ever seen Dollar Tree really do signs that just like looked more like, you know, they were like target audience or kids. So I thought this was just really special. Like how darling is that you guys? And there's a lot of great detail to these two, which I think is just so sweet for, for the price. Um, they would also look great in a wreath. Like this little koala bear would look darling. I love the coloring on this little bear because these are the colors I use for Valentine's Day. Yeah, he's really cute. I'm gonna have to use him this year. Um, maybe I'll do like a wreath with him. And then I also found these, which you can see have like a plastic wrap over them. And it's probably to protect these um, little hearts, which look how they package this. They had this over, which is, you know what? That's really nice because I feel like a lot of things with Dollar Tree gets damaged in shipping. You can just like tell things get smushed. You know, they lose, lose their shape. So maybe this is part of that, you know, price increase thing, but look how lovely that is. So nice. And you know what? You could also just use the plane this side, do something a little farmhouse, maybe do some like chalk work or something. That would be cute too. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one because, you know, it's just hard to see with the wrapping. I look back at hauls. It was a little thing. I look back at hauls, I'm like, why didn't you remove the wrapping? But here's this one. I'll just show you them side by side. So pretty, very unique. Never seen Dollar Tree kind of do anything quite like this with their little signs. And then I also found these, which are really cute. They all have the wrapping too, so let's do it. Hope y'all have some time to watch this video. The little cupcake one, this one's my favorite. I really like it. it, gives you the ability to put them on 
um, the wall. I'm just trying to like think in my mind how I would use these. I feel like I feel like I would put them in my like tablescape somehow. So, and I know I keep talking about this. I'm gonna be doing a tablescape Valentine's Day for you guys, but I need for the kitchen reveal to be first, if that makes sense, um, which is coming hopefully Tuesday's video. Here is this one with the lavender, which is very pretty. Also like put this in a care package. Oh, you know what? When I saw these at Dollar Tree, I thought these would look really beautiful in a gift basket, just like kind of styled as a little, you know, little showpiece. But here's a unicorn. So, so cute. Yeah, this little cupcake is my favorite. I should have got another one of these cupcakes, which I'll write down on my list. Cause I think I want to like use this somehow on my tablescape. And then I also found them in this little version with like the see-through, um, which is so cute. Like a little, I wouldn't call them a shadow box, but so pretty. And then I think they had a lot of options by the way, and I didn't get them all. Here's this one. And look, this comes out easily and you can maybe DIY and do whatever. Ooh, look. Interesting. So maybe you could put whatever you want. Wow. Didn't know that. But like, there you go. So there's that. And then I picked up the frosted loot bags. I get these every year. I love to see, you know, what prints they're gonna do. They had another one. They had like a panda one, um, but I didn't get that one. So this one's my favorite. I'm gonna probably be using like one of these little bags for my daughter's care package. Just kind of fill it up with little goodies, maybe a pair of socks or something. And then here's this one. They have little polka dots. I just realized that. So, <clears throat> all right, so I got that. And then my favorite Valentine's Day items are these red hearts. I'm obsessed. They're my number one, like top of the line. Very simple, right, piece of decor. They're just little sticks. You get seven pieces. You can see how many bags of these I got. And the reason why I did this is because I remember last year specifically decorating for Valentine's Day and me going, where are all of my red heart picks? I love these because I put them freaking everywhere. I will like snap off. Also, by the way, they have them in pink. So I wanted to show you guys that they have this shade right here but red is red's the ultimate for me um i will like change the length of the the stick and i will stick them into my wreaths it's one of my favorite things to do so easy and like that look at that and um i don't glue them in or anything and that way once valentine's day is over i pick them out of the wreath and there i am i didn't make it permanent i didn't have to put away an entire whole wreath you know so it just helps with storage it also eliminates time with decorating and stuff these little hearts are everything they're gonna be cute in a tear tray i also use them for that and just great in general for diys i've even used them for like um, you could do paper clips, stationary stuff with these. What else have I done? Oh, you know what? I use them to make a banner. I will link my Valentine's Day playlist DIYs down below for you guys. These are, these are top notch. They're my favorite. So I got more of those this year. And then I saw these right here. And I said, yes, ma'am. Look at them. This is absolutely darling. Very light. You could tell it's just like cheap, but looking at it, like kind of from far away, it doesn't look as cheap as they kind of like just feel. Not that lightness means cheap, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, these I immediately thought of my tablescape as well and kind of like putting it in the center of the plate. Like, you know, the way, style it that way. And great for a tear tray. I'm telling you, this is going to be a great little pickup. And the hearts are perfect. 
the shape is perfect. You can clearly see it's a heart. Like these were awesome. I don't think they were out last year. So I think those are brand new release this year. All right, then I picked up some chapstick. I got the Carmax, or what? I got the Carmex, what am I saying? And then I got the Tropical Coconut Lip Balm. I've bought these before. I love them. So I'm gonna be throwing them in my purse. I always forget to throw a chapstick in my purse with me. So I got those. Um, back on Valentine's Day, they put out the fortune cookies again, as they should. You can see in this box, I have red and white, but they also have it in pink. I think they do like a random variety. So you're gonna have to like look and see. There it is. Super cute and of course, you could always make your own little fortune, so. And then, oh, these were so darling. I get these every year and I don't know why. I just to like obviously share them with you guys because I don't really have a use for them. But you know, if you are doing any sort of crafts or anything and you think you could use the little skateboards for something, just FYI, you get them in this little pack for six. And then they also do the little dinosaurs. And I love that each dinosaur is a completely different color. And then as I was checking out, I don't know what possessed me, but I saw the Kool-Aid has a gum and I didn't know that. It just kind of looked delicious. So um, yeah, I you get tropical punch, cherry and grape in here. So, and I actually, you know what? I don't really chew gum anymore. And the reason why I stopped chewing gum was because I think I, it's just like, just TMI, but just like gas related. And I feel like it made me swallow more air doing it. So I just stopped chewing gum. Nobody on the internet needed to know that, but like, there you go. All right, my hair, I feel like was kind of crazy and I thought like the lighting was a little bright, but hopefully that's better. I found another, um valentine's day piece and this is so freaking cute you guys look at this the little moped i want to see more of this image right here on everything i want to see it on signs plates napkins the works because i think the little moped is so cute i also love when dollar tree does the hot air balloon for valentine's day specifically like it's i don't know why but i i love it it's so cute okay um, I think in the last haul, which I had posted on Tuesday, not to confuse anybody who knows like my filming schedule, but I did like a little DIY of um, creating like a chore list using these popsicle sticks. And as you can see, I found the plain ones from Dollar Tree. However, they're still super thin. And I just typically write very big. So for me, I am gonna be upgrading those popsicle sticks to the larger ones, whether I either A, find it at another Dollar Tree or B, I kind of grab them from like Hobby Lobby because I do love the concept. But if you go watch that video, um, the color popsicle sticks bled a lot and I did use a permanent marker. Now, the other thing is that I use kind of like a fatter tip permanent marker and Sharpie makes like the really fine tip ones, though that would be key in doing that little DIY. Um, so I'm gonna update and see if using that Sharpie that I found and putting my chore list on here would work. And if you didn't watch that video, I'll link it down below and you can go watch the video and me demonstrate kind of what I'm talking about. But I wanted you guys to know that I found the plain ones, by the way. Okay, next up, I am a huge fan of these makeup vanishing towels. I have not put anything else on my face to take off my makeup since the day I found this at Dollar Tree. And I really probably didn't need another one, but I saw it and you know what it is? It's fear and habit to just kind of grab when I see things at Dollar Tree. Cause I know like, I'm like in the back of my mind, I'm like, when is this not going to be sold anymore? Cause I know how Dollar Tree works, you know? So it was a, I couldn't help myself grab basically. Um, then I have not shown any hairbrushes in a while. I feel like when I was starting to do my hauls for you guys, like what, eight years ago, that's how long I've been doing this. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I used to show a lot of hairbrushes, but here we go. I found these and I thought the handles were so pretty. Oh, look how, and this is a new release. Like I saw them and I just knew. And then here's this little like cheetah moment. Oh, this one, so pretty. I love the black one too, very chic. All right, so I found those. And then it was just a hair accessories day because they put out these massive clips. Go grab these. Like what? Look at this. The clear one is my favorite. I love this one. And then we just get a standard, whatever this is called, comment. Let me know and I'll pin your comment. It's at the top of my mind. Oh, I got two of them. I don't know y'all. Um, and then I found these really cute little stickers for nails. I actually got this for my niece. She, she y'all, she is the girliest girl ever. She's always in a princess dress. She loves the makeup, the nails, playing, the Barbies, all the things. And I always find that very intriguing because I grew up more like a tomboy. I mean, I had an older brother, so like I idolized and looked up to him. Um, I'll never forget story time, 90s. Let me, let me transport you to the 90s, okay? This was when I was wearing foundation and powder, and that was it, folks. Okay, and maybe some like navy blue mascara. And um, thought I was doing something. Sometimes I would throw on some brown lipstick. <clears throat> and it was like, even though my brother and I were like a year apart, it was at a point where he, I think it was like middle school. I was still in middle school, he was in high school. And I would wait for him to go to school so that I could borrow his jeans. This was back when baggy jeans were in and then you wore a tight little top. I did that. I don't know. But I felt like crisscross. Who remembers crisscross? Crisscross would make you jump, jump. Anyways, um, I feel like people are fast forwarding through this, but the point is um, I was just, I was more of a tomboy. And when I had my daughter, she like liked to play with like brats and dolls, but she wasn't like overly girly girl, like with her style. She really was more like just chill. I don't know how else to describe her style. Um, so when I watch my niece just like eat stuff like this up, I'm always just intrigued by it. But anyways, there. I, I really don't know why y'all subscribe, but like, thanks, thanks for doing it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for not giving up on me. Amen. Um, Crafter Square put out these little glass beads little, it's glass. Y'all, y'all, run to get these. These are gonna be great for shaker cards, all kinds of crafts. Not the ombre effect. All right, so I got them all cut and look. And it was just, a y'all, a job well done on the inside. This is where I feel like Dollar Tree lacks, but this, it's looking a little bit more red on camera than it is in person. It's more burgundy. Okay, it's looking a little bit more like ruby red, but it's more burgundy. It has a purple undertone. The black one's everything, because y'all know this is my color. And there's gray, pink, navy, kind of hard to see. It's definitely coming across a little bit darker on camera. And then the emerald green. I found some new Dove soap. Here's what I picked up. I, could, I can smell these through the box. So we've got the Cool Moisture Top Bar. And then I think the bottom bar is like their original. Yeah, that's what it says right there. And also if my fingers look, oh my God, my fingers are dirty. <sighs> I was lighting the fireplace. As you can see, it went out. And I got I got soot everywhere. And I tried to wash it all off, so that's why. Look, look at my. You know what, if you're still here, comment a yellow heart emoji. I just wanna see. It's just, just testing purposes. I can't get over my nails. I really thought I had cleaned everything. Guess not. 
Oh, yo, I'm a mess. Okay, so this says the unwritten Tommy Taylor in the ship that sank twice. Oh, how adorable. Oh my gosh, like how is this a dollar 25? I still just wanna say a dollar. I can't, a dollar 25, like that's just extra syllables. But y'all, what, this is a really good find. I'm really shook. I mean, I don't know anything about the story, but the cover art is very pretty. Seems like a comic book style novel. Not just a comic book, like a full on novel, but comic style, which I think is a really cool concept actually. All right guys, I think it's safe to say that I should probably go and go clean my nails. So thank you for watching this video. I am gonna be scrolling to see the hearts, you know what I'm saying? Um, but thank you so much for just being here, watching my videos, always commenting the nicest things. You make me enjoy what I do. And I'm so grateful for that. So I hope you all have a great day. Saturday is my bedroom reveal. I just finished filming it, it's done. It's it's going up Saturday. And then Sunday's video isn't gonna be a haul, but it's gonna be a big surprise video. So make sure you're subscribed, turn on the bell, and I'll see you there.